This video explains how to check whether two pandas data frames are equal in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. As a first step for this tutorial, we need to import the pandas library, and then we also need to create several pandas data frames for the example later on using the data frame constructor. So in the second code box, I'm creating our first example data frame called data1. And this data frame contains seven rows and three columns called x1, x2, and x3. Then I'm creating another pandas data frame called data2, which contains also seven rows and the columns x1, x2, and x3. But maybe this data frame contains different values. We will check that later on. And then I'm also creating a third pandas data frame, which is called data3. And this data frame also contains seven rows and three columns, x1, x2, and x3. Now let's assume that we want to check whether the first two data frames, data1 and data2, are exactly the same. Then we can apply the equals function, as you can see in the fifth code snippet. And within this function, we need to specify the name of the second data frame that we want to compare to the first data frame. So in this case, our first data frame is called data1, and the second data frame is called data2. So if you run this line of code, you can see that the logical value true is returned. And this tells us that the data frames data1 and data2 are equal. So if we check the same for the data frames data1 and data3, another output is returned. So this time the logical value false is returned, which tells us that those two data frames are not equal. And we can see that if we go back to the structure of those data frames, so as you can see, the data frame data1 contains no values with three digits. However, the data frame data3 contains a value 999 in the first row of the second data frame column. And for that reason, those two data frames are not equal. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.